together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I spy shapes everywhere. Circles, triangles, oval squares, stars, rectangles, so many kinds. See how many we can find. Hello, friend. It's so good to see you. You're just in time. I was about to check the mail. I'm expecting a letter from Ms. Panda. Let's check the mail together. Are you coming? Look, there's a letter in our mailbox. It's addressed to Mr. Goose, the Treehouse, Animal Island. That means it's for me. Could it be from Ms. Panda? It is from Ms. Panda. I'll open it. There is a letter and some pictures inside. I'll read the letter out loud. Hello, everyone. I'm visiting my friend. Everywhere I go, I see shapes. I've sent you some photos. Ooh, let's look. What shape do you see in the first picture? Hmm. Do you see it? Circle! Well done! What shape do you see in the second picture? Oh, I think I see it. Circle! Fantastic! What shape do you see in the last picture? Hmm. What shape do you see? Circle! Yes! Can you find shapes on Animal Island? Love, Ms. Panda. That's a great idea. We'll make circle our special shape of the day. Let's look for circles on Animal Island. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, monkey. First, find all the purple triangles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is purple. That's a square. We only want purple triangles. Oh, right. I forgot. There's one. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the purple stars. Okay. Here. Here. And here. 
blended. Should I look for purple squares now, Ms. Panda? That's a good idea. Okay! Here. 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 And here! Great! And what's left? Two red shapes. Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! No more shapes! Thank you so much, Monkey! What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use two triangles to make a bow tie. Look! <laughs> oh, Monkey, you look very fancy. Hey, I have an idea! Look! Let's look for another one. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. reading we're reading this one it's called the best place to nap eli needs a nap but where should he sleep let's read and find out let's begin the best place to nap written by simone patrick I'm so tired yawned eli as he stretched to the skies I need a nap, he said, rubbing his eyes. Somewhere snugly to curl up in a ball. He looked all around and then began to crawl out into the garden where he found a leaf pile. He nestled down with a happy smile. But just as he closed his sleepy little eyes, around him buzzed a swarm of flies. Go away! Stop buzzing. I'm trying to nap. But no, they didn't stop. They went flap, flap, flap. Sleepy little Eli crawled back inside. In a quiet corner, some books he spied. He climbed on top and rested his head. This is rough and hard, he sleepily said. Books are only meant to be read. They're just not soft enough to make a bed. Shh. Ever so quietly, Eli nuzzled his fur, and Toby the dog didn't even stir. But, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah-choo! Toby woke with a jolt. 
off darted the furry pillow quick as a bolt. Where, oh, where is the best place to doze? Eli thought and thought as he twiddled his toes. Somewhere dark and warm. Is there such a place? Hmm. Maybe inside Dad's guitar case. The shape was all wrong. The case way too small. Oh, gosh, I really am tired now, Eli started to bawl. Eli was lifted from the floor so high by a warm pair of hands and a lullaby. Three hours later, Eli's eyes opened wide. He had fallen asleep, and he hadn't even tried. He stretched and yawned, and he started to clap. I found it! It's true! Grandpa's lap is the best place to nap. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a song called She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain. I'll sing the first verse, then you sing along with me. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Now you'll all sing along with me. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Oh, we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Oh, we'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Oh, we'll all go out to meet her. We'll all go out to meet her. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! We're about to practice our counting together. Come on! Stop now, let's count some more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. When we see some flowers or butterflies or stars, we count so we can find out how many things there are. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Let's look for things to count. Good yet. I'll help you. Let's count pumpkins. One, two, three, four. Four pumpkins. Now let's count apples together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many in all? Ten? Yeah, you got it! Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the butterflies. Okay. One, two, three. So how many in all? Three! You did it! Thanks, Monkey! Hey, I have an idea! Let's go count all the crops growing on the farm! Yeah! yeah! That may take a while. See you soon! Let's
Let's do the monkey dance! Yay! Yeah! yeah. yeah. There's a brand new dance you need to count To do each move the right amount There's a special number, the number one Come on and count with me Get ready to do everything one time! Clap one time! Nod one time! Point one time! March one time! I knew I could count on you! You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance Come on everybody do the monkey dance You do the monkey dance, the monkey dance Come on and dance with me! Oh, hi! It's so nice to see you! Let's listen to some quiet music together. That was very nice. Thanks for visiting. Goodbye. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello. We need, we need to, to say, say goodbye. goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush, little baby, don't say a word Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird If that mockingbird won't sing Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring If that diamond ring turns brass Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass if that looking glass gets broke Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull If that cart and bull turn over Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover If that dog named Rover won't bark Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart if that horse and cart fall down You'll still be the sweetest little baby in town mm -hmm.